Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial today with the Putnam County District Library. Today I'm going to be speaking to you about the quick settings menu on Android devices. So what is the quick settings menu? Well, it's actually kind of similar to the control center that I spoke about a couple weeks ago. Uh, control center is the Apple version, but it is a shortcut menu automatically provided by your phone or your device. So in this case, Android products to access your most commonly used features. So let's get started on the quick settings menu tutorial. Okay, to begin, I'm going to show you the Android quick settings menu with an Android phone that is unlocked. I have already unlocked the screen so I can access apps. Um, there are options for the quick settings menu with the screen locked and I will mention those uh, a little bit later in the tutorial. So to access the quick settings menu on an Android phone, you're gonna take your finger at the top and pull down. And here you can see there are some icons there. There are some buttons there. Let me show you that one more time. You just start up at the top and pull down. One quick swipe down from the top. So the buttons that we see here um, are data, Wi-Fi, location, screen orientation lock, flashlight, and sound. So your data is the internet that you use when you're not on Wi-Fi, when you're out and about. This is your Wi-Fi symbol here. So if there's Wi-Fi available and you have that turned on, you can use the Wi-Fi and don't have to use your data. The location is required for maps to run and it also helps when you're searching for restaurants or stores near you. This is telling the phone that it's okay to track temporarily track your location. So that's the location button there. This is your screen, screen lock um, or your auto rotate lock. So currently this button is on, that's why it's blue. If I turn it off, this is going to allow the phone to change. Like if I'm reading, oops, if I'm reading um, something on the phone this way or watching a video this way, the phone will, the video will turn with the phone so that you will see it uh, this way instead of seeing it sideways. And when you turn the phone back, your screen will also jump back with you. I'm sure you've all kind of experienced that when you've tried to watch things. The phone tries to tag along with you and um, go with the orientation you want. If you don't want it to turn, say you're reading in bed at night on your phone and the screen is turning sideways, but you want it to stay um, in portrait, you would just hit that button and turn that screen lock on. There we go. Okay, and then we have our flashlight. That's the next one here. This is the flashlight, flashlight icon. So when I turn that on, the phone is now emitting a flashlight beam, which is really nice um, and convenient. And then whoop, this is your volume here. So I accidentally turned the volume up on the side just a second ago. So I'm gonna just turn that volume back down and you can see that that icon has changed. I was using these side volume buttons here but you can also turn it off and on just with that button. The next thing that I wanna mention is this little button up here. This is looks like a little kind of settings button. If you click on that, it's going to jump immediately to the settings of the phone. So that is your shortcut to, this, to changing the settings on the phone is that little that little icon right there at the top right corner. So that's what I pressed on and it pulled the settings menu up right away. Um, we also of course have the time up here in the top left. And then down here we have the buttons device control and media output. Output. I can't talk today. Um, so device control, if I tap on that, this is if you have like a Bluetooth device paired. So um, sometimes when we're in the car and we wanna listen to something from the phone, we'll, we'll put it through the car speakers. So that's the car right there. So if you have any kind of Bluetooth um, set up on your phone with anything in your home or your car, this is how you can control it. So I'm just gonna pull back down to open that back up. Then the other thing is this media output. So this is if you have music playing or an audiobook or a podcast, it would say what the media was and you could hit play or skip or change the volume. So this is how, this is kind of your, um, your shortcut to changing something with your media that you might have playing from your phone. 
So that's if we pull down once. And then of course, to get rid of it, you would just swipe back up. And there's the main menu again of the phone, of the unlocked phone. Okay, now my finger is now gonna pull down a second time. You see how I did that? I'll do it again. And then to go back, you just push back up. So you're gonna pull once, Oop. you're gonna pull once and then twice. And then you see the full array of quick settings menu options on the phone. So he has three screens of buttons that he can uh, mess with, change things on the phone. So it's gonna be all the same icons that you saw before. So there's the data and the Wi-Fi and the auto rotate, um, but there's a lot more, obviously. I'm not going to mention all of them, just some of the basic or important ones. Um, this one down here, the power saving, I haven't explored that a lot on an Android, but I'm assuming it's the same as on an iPhone where if you're low on battery and you wanna to try to conserve the battery because you don't have your charger or you can't charge currently, you could turn that power saver on and it would do what the phone can to save your battery and extend the life as long as possible. Um, another one that I wanna mention is the airplane mode here. So if you click on the airplane mode, that's immediately gonna shut both your mobile data and your Wi-Fi off. So ideally, this is what you're supposed to use when you're on an airplane. Now, if you're in the airport, you can have your airplane mode on so you're not using data, but you can actually turn that Wi-Fi back on. So if the airport has Wi-Fi available, you can still connect to Wi-Fi while being in airplane mode. If you turn that airplane mode back off, it turns both your data and your Wi-Fi back on for you if you haven't turned those on yourself. Um, another one I wanted to mention was the Bluetooth here. So whoop, right there it is. So this is if you have any devices connected to Bluetooth, you can adjust them or connect them um, right here with that Bluetooth button. Um, if I swipe to the next menu, this one here at the top left, the scan QR code. So if I click on that, it says find a QR code. It's trying to scan the pillow here. Um, but if you're a lot of uh, restaurants these days are not handing out paper menus, they just have a QR code um, that you can scan. That is your quick access to be able to do that. So there, if there's a little code you need to scan for a menu or something, you can press that button right there to do it. Um, at the top right up here, there's that little settings button. We already know what that does. This button here actually is um, allowing you to turn the phone off if I press that. You can power the phone off quickly or you can restart the phone quickly right from this quick settings menu. So that was this button right here. This button right here. This is the one you use to power the phone down or restart it quickly. And then last but not least, this bar down here at the bottom this is showing you your screen brightness. So this is like I mentioned with the Apple tutorial, the brighter your screen, the, the faster your battery is gonna run out. So I can make that all the way down super low so we can hardly see it and I can turn it all the way up so that the phone is super bright, probably brighter than I need it to be. So that's how you adjust your screen brightness. That's another trick if your battery is running low on your phone and you wanna conserve battery. Um, you can adjust your screen brightness to be a little bit lower and that may give you a little bit of extra time. Okay, what if you wanna change the buttons that you see here? What if you wanna take some of these out, you know you don't use them? Um, there's a way to do that, you can change that. So you're gonna go up to these three little dots at the top right corner right here and click on those and then you're gonna click on edit buttons. So these are the available buttons that are currently not down here in his menu. Okay, so if I want to, let's say I want to take the camera and put it down there. I'm just going to take my phone right on that button and pull down and you can see it moving and I could stick it right there if I wanted to. Or, oh, I changed my mind, I can put it back. You can also take buttons from here, I believe, and move them up and out so they will no longer show up in your quick settings menu. I'm going to put that back because I know he uses it. Um, and then to finish, let's say you've moved things around, you've changed what you want. You're just gonna hit this button down here in the bottom right that says done, right there, tap done. So really quickly, um, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna lock the phone 
Okay, the phone is now locked. You can access the quick settings menu from the locked screen, like I mentioned before. And all the options that I've mentioned are there. Okay, so the phone is still locked. I've just opened, you know, I've, I've lit it up so we can adjust something. Oh. So I'm gonna do the same command. I'm gonna pull my finger down. And there is the full array of buttons and options in the quick settings menu. However, let's say I wanna turn location settings on. It's still going to make me log in and unlock the phone before I can make any major changes to what the phone is doing. Okay, so I'll show you that again. So the phone is locked. I pull down, it's the same command as before. Let's say I wanna turn location settings on. I'm gonna to have to type in the pin and then it will turn the location on for me. The exception to this is the camera, which is down here in the bottom right. Oh, yeah. Um, there, it's at the bottom right down here. That's the camera icon. You can press on that. Maybe you have to swipe up. You can take photos from the locked screen. And if you open that by accident, you can just press that lock button on the side. That's this one right here. That's what I'm pressing to shut the screen down and wake the screen up. Okay, thank you for watching.